Hey everyone. All right, today's Friday. Um, got uh, half a day of work today. I'm heading into work right now and uh, I'm gonna be leaving early. So uh, going to be going to the woods, go to, to the camper, go check it out, make sure everything's uh, buttoned up still and everything's okay. Uh, my canopy's seen better days, so I'm a little concerned that it's gonna be flopping around when I get up there. So we'll see what happens, but um, I pretty much did my shopping, grocery shopping last night, so don't need a whole lot. Just need to pick up some cash on the way home to get to the life. And then uh, pack the truck and hit the road. I'd like to get up there mm, by three or four o'clock. If I can get up there by three, it'd be great because that means I'll be able to run out uh, to go grab a camera that I had set out in a different area that's pretty far away. Uh, I hadn't been hunting it because Every time I go, somebody's been parked out front, so I'm gonna pull that camera and uh, find a different place for it. But, um, and then Saturday morning, gonna hunt in the morning, sit nice and quiet, and then uh, got a camera I wanna move. And I think I have another camera in that area. I, I can't recall, but if, if so, I'm going to freshen that thing up, put new batteries, and and all that good stuff and then Saturday afternoon I'm going to go find a new spot I've been looking at on uh, the aerial imagery so um, probably stick a camera out there and hunt Saturday uh, evening or afternoon Saturday evening out there so anyway uh, come along let's have a good weekend all right well work day is done had a short day and uh, I'm going to be heading uh, to the house now, pack up the truck, and get ready to hit the road. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to try and get out of Dodge, um, escape the traffic. It's uh, before 2 p.m., so it is a good time uh, hit, to hit the highway here. We'll see how much traffic we do get. Probably not too bad. <clears throat> 2 o'clock. Still work. So the weather is a little iffy for today and tonight. Um, uh, there's a front, kind of a weak front that's stalled out and blowing through. Um, however, we are heading two hours north, so um, we're actually, you know, by the time we get up there, it should be passing through. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too much rain when we get there, so it allows us to um, get set up. <laughs> that would be nice. At least get the canopy up, and then uh, that's about it. You know, really, that's about all it really takes. So, uh, but anyway, we are uh, definitely on the road. Got the truck all packed up. Took, uh, took about an hour to pack everything up. Take us about, should put us there about 4 p.m., maybe 4 15. Not too bad of a drive. And another hour to unpack and get settled in. So, unfortunately, that's going to be about 5 o'clock. It doesn't leave me a whole lot of time to get out of the woods. I had hoped to go get my camera from a spot that's been sitting for over a year. I haven't checked it in so long. Every time I drive by, somebody there's a truck parked there, so I have not been able to get out there and get it. So, all right, well, <clears throat> made it about halfway, got through some traffic. Um, not too bad, but that's a cool airboat right there. That's what we need. How much it is? It is three eighty. No, man. Four five. Thank you, dude. Have a lovely evening. Happy holidays. Take care. Here. And, uh, so we 
got about uh, 20 miles exactly to go. So it's a little small in here. <laughs> it's just a little camper, but um, <clears throat> turn the power on and you know got the AC going. It's already cool. Just I just started the uh, generator, so it's already cool in here. It feels great. And um, so we're just gonna cook some dinner. Alright, well, um, we've got a pretty severe uh, thunderstorm that's rolling through. I just checked the radar on my, my phone, and it's obviously going to hit here. It's, I mean, it's just a, uh, a very well-defined line of thunderstorms. Uh, fortunately, there's not much behind it, so it, it should, pat when it does pass, then uh, we should be good for the rest of the afternoon. Um, so... That's the good news, um, but unfortunately, it's going to delay. I, mean, I can I can hear the thunder right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear the thunder. It's still about probably it's coming from 
the west, so I'm, I'm facing east right now, and um, it's pushing through, it's moving relatively quickly. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and gas up the generator, it ran all night. Um, it still has a few hours left, but I'm gonna go ahead and just run up, grab uh, some fuel for the generator, maybe top off my truck, although I'm all right, and uh, get some food. And also, last night I realized that I'm almost out of one pound propane bottle. So hopefully they have them at this little general store down the road here about five miles away. Hogs have been back up in here, you can tell. Fresh too. Oh, fresh. Oh, fresh hogs. Oh, no. They really tore it up. All that saw hog sign. One of my leaners here. Um, I basically just look to the left. The swamp is all behind us here. And now uh, this is a game trail right here, coming right straight this way. Doesn't look like it's been really used really well. So, like I said, this area has slowed down over the past year. So I'm gonna pull this camera. I think I can tell the. Um, it needs a new strap and there's no battery so and I can see there's some corrosion so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the whole thing I brought two sticks with me to get up to the first stick that way I didn't have to carry in all the sticks and everything I just went ahead so. and attached the two sticks <laughs> it's been a while since I've uh, done this so I just was in the groove and I didn't stop the uh, stop the work to go get the, turn the camera on. So I'll just video the rest of me um, pulling this uh, stand down here. Um, you see, I got a safety line that's already attached. Um, um, I'm just gonna attach my um, my safety harness to the uh, the safety rope and just move it up as I go. So that's that's basically how it works. Okay, so here we go.
All right, so made it back. Luckily, it's not too too bad. It's probably 80 out, 80 degrees. Um, <clears throat> it was a breeze, so it helped uh, a little bit keeping it. I wouldn't want to be doing this in the middle of summer. This is horrible. <laughs> it's just too hot and humid. So I'm glad I uh, glad I just did it now. After some lunch, headed out and uh, ran across some really good buck sign. Then there was this old ladder stand. I mean, this thing was a rickety old thing. <laughs> I re reached up and it was about falling off the tree. And there were some more buck rubs. There was quite a few, like four or five little trees like that. Pretty cool. And then a uh, beautiful sunset walking out. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. Please like and share and subscribe. Do some more videos uh, here real soon in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.